Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. In this video, I am going to discuss about how to install PyCharm IDE in Windows 10 operating system. What is PyCharm? PyCharm is the integrated development environment, okay, which is one of the popular uh, IDE used uh, to develop a Python applications. Okay, so this has been provided by the JetBrains company. Okay, if you go to the google.com, I already installed on my machine. I taken the screenshot of all the steps I have followed. I am going to explain you each step one by one. So you can go to the google.com and search for the keyword PyCharm download. Once you type and do search, you get the www.jetbrains.com PyCharm download. Click on this link so it, you will launch it will launch you to the download page of PyCharm and you see there is a two uh, broad uh, sections provided here. One is a, a professional version of uh, uh, PyCharm which is uh, paid. So you can have a trial version if you want, free trial version for uh, a few days uh, or you can go to the community version of uh, PyCharm which is free. I am going to use the community edition of uh, PyCharm so I just so you will have uh, you will it is available for uh, uh, three uh, 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 flavor of operating system Windows, Mac, and Linux. So since I am going to install it on Windows 10, I will click on download on this community edition. So it will start downloading the PyCharm IDE, uh, uh, which is a, a Windows installer or EXE. So which is of size uh, 367 MB. Okay. So based on your internet bandwidth. It will take some time. So for me, it was showing uh, uh, 21 minutes uh, since I am using a data card. Okay, mobile. Uh, so that's the reason for me it shows uh, uh, 21 minutes. So you can wait for some time, and then once it is uh, uh, downloaded, you can actually click on the Show in folder. I am using the Chrome browser, so that's why I see these are the tabs. Okay, so based on your browser version, it will suggest different uh, options. So uh, show in folder. So it will show us this uh, exe. Double click on this exe and uh, uh, it will actually prompt you uh, do you want to uh, make changes uh, uh, to the system using this application. You say yes. Okay then uh, uh, there is a screen says uh, uh, a smart uh, uh, screen cannot, uh, cannot be reached right now. So I will just uh, say uh, run. Okay. So don't say uh, don't run. You just can click on the run. Once you click on run, so what is going to is going to launch the installation uh, uh, screen for the PyCharm Community Edition set. So you can click next, and it will suggest you where you want to install the PyCharm ID. I will go with the default version, which is C colon program files, and click on next. So you can actually choose. Uh, uh, different options what do you want to have. I'll just go with the default and I'll just add this launcher alone launcher directory to the path variable. So then it will suggest here so it says is going to install the JetBrains. So uh, the <coughs> folder where it is going to have this uh, PyCharm. Okay. So in the start menu you will see the uh, uh, this JetBrains so here so I have a PyCharm communication to come into this directory so it says here okay then I will just uh, click on this is by default it comes you just have to you need to do anything you just say install so once you click install it start installing the PyCharm community edition okay so once install it will, uh, 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 if you want, you can just say reboot now, it will reboot automatically, or you can say I want to manually reboot later. I'll just say this and uh, finish. Okay, so uh, either you can do or uh, reboot now, whatever the option you want to choose, you can choose it. So then, so you can just uh, uh, search for. PyCharm Community Edition, then you will see this uh, icon will be 
showed for you python community edition uh, uh, when i installed this the version is uh, 2021.1.1 okay so based on uh, when you are installing so the version might change so i just click this so it is launching uh, the first initially it says import uh, pysom settings i'll say this is the first time i'm doing uh, i'll just say don't don't import settings say okay so it is launching the uh, welcome to pycharm so this is the pycharm ide by default this is a theme it is there i want to change this theme uh, it is having a black color dark black i want to have a light color so you can go to the custom customize section or tab then you can change this color theme instead of drag a lot to the uh, intellij light okay if you want to change the font size you can change the font size rest of so now i'll just click on the projects and then this is what if you want to open the existing project you can go to open if you want to create new project i can just click on uh, uh, click on this plus icon to create a new project so it launches the uh, new project creation window you can go and type your project name i'll for now i'll just give hello world okay so you see there is a hello world so uh, it is trying to create a python virtual environment so you don't if you don't know what is python virtual environment i made a separate video for it you can just uh, go and uh, visit that video and i explained in detail i will add that uh, video also in this uh, uh, video link in the uh, in the this video videos description section uh, you can watch it so i am going to use the uh, i am not going to use the python uh, means python uh, for now uh, python virtual nomad instead i am going to use the the uh, the default uh, uh, python installation uh, interpreter so you can just say uh, click previously confirmed interpreter and uh, this is the first time i am loading so it is not showing anything so i'll just click on this uh, there is a three dot available right you can click on that so it will open this window add python interpreter uh, you can just the multiple uh, options are showing click on this system interpreter okay so click on system interpreter it will by your by default uh, python installation will be picked here python interpreter will be python.exe so this is my uh, default uh, installation location so here we have python.exe this is what uh, uh, been chosen here right so if you are not showing here you can just browse click again the uh, uh, triple uh, dot icon and you can navigate to this location wherever you install python and then say okay once you click okay so you will be uh, configured with the python uh, 3.9 here and then uh, so it is opened with the main.py by default it is creating a main.py python file okay so i open my id here you see here there's a main.py is open and this is the project structure there will be a folder called hello world under that you have main.py so if you want to run this right click and run or you can go to this run and run main also may this main <coughs> The, the program name is the python script name is main.py so it is inst uh, it is ran the uh, this python program so just what we did is we have a method called uh, uh, print hi whatever the name you pass it's going to print it and it says hi that name so it says hi pycharm the pycharm we passed as input to this function so it says uh, <laughs> by formatting it says hi pycharm so this is how you need to install uh, pycharm ide in uh, uh, pycharm ide in windows uh, 10 operating system so almost same procedure will be in other operating system as well uh, you can verify that uh, thank you so much friends in the next video i will uh, explain you how to create a first pyspark application in pycharm ide and we will explore more on python as well as pyspark in the coming up videos uh i my uh, one request for you uh, please subscribe to my channel data making and uh, then click on bell button to 
get notification whenever I add new technical videos. And also, please share with your friends who are learning Python, uh, Python or PySpark or data science, uh, different. Uh, uh, technologies uh, uh, we are uh, we are sharing our knowledge on different technologies and programming language please explore it on, on our youtube channel and get benefited thank you so much